Namaste, I'm Dr. Sanjana. In this video, we'll talk about who's at risk of higher risk of developing post-COVID sequelae or post-COVID syndrome or long COVID syndrome. We have varied names for this. It's mainly those that condition where after developing an acute COVID infection, acute COVID uh, uh, problem or a disease. And even if you continue to have these symptoms for more than a month or more than a, more than three months, then definitely you can be considered as someone who is um, suffering from post-COVID uh, after due diligence and evaluation by your treating doctor. So in this video, we'll talk about the six risk factors, highly uh, vulnerable groups who are uh, prone for uh, post-COVID symptoms, long COVID symptoms, and those who find it harder to come out of uh, the COVID infection. So first is more uh, anyone aged more than 60 years. So as we know, uh, older age uh, patients are at a higher risk for all complications. Similarly, anyone above 60 years is at a higher risk to develop post-COVID syndrome. Then coming to uh, smoking history. Anyone who's a smoker is at a higher risk for developing post-COVID because COVID in itself is a very uh, respiratory virus. So it predominantly affects your breathing system, your airway system. So someone who's smoked for a long period has already uh, put his or her lungs at risk uh, or more has made it more vulnerable for these kind of complications. Then the third category is those individuals who already have existing medical conditions, long-term medical conditions like diabetes, hypertension, hypertension or BP patients or anyone with kidney problems or heart patients. These are also considered a high-risk group when it comes to uh, developing post-COVID. Coming to the fourth point, anyone with existing pre-existing respiratory problems. So these can be patients of COPD or uh, bronchial asthma or uh, uh, emphysema. All these patients who already have some existing uh, lung diseases are also at a higher risk for post-COVID. Then coming to the actual manifestation during the acute phase. If during the acute phase, that is during COVID infection, if the patient was dependent on oxygen at any point, of their therapy, either at home or in the hospital, they are also considered a high-risk group who have shown more um, uh, cases or incidents of post-COVID syndrome. Lastly, if the patient needed at any point a ventilator or a mechanical ventilation or the non-invasive ventilation, which is usually provided in a hospital admission, they also have, unfortunately, a higher risk of uh, having long-term effects of post-COVID syndrome. So, if you are, or if you come under any of these six categories, definitely monitor your uh, phase of recovery after you develop, once you have recovered from COVID, for any of the chances of continuing symptoms of COVID or COVID-related symptoms so that you, uh, you can get in touch with your doctor accordingly. Thank you. Thank you.